Hello, this is Mark Cashman, and I just wanted to put together a quick video to show you what it's like to create a survey and then put it into a SharePoint site. And you can really put it anywhere, on a home page, on a news article, on a page with inside the site. And just for context, I'm here on a SharePoint communication site that's a part of the hub site. It's really actually the hub site home page. And I want to add a survey in the upper right hand uh, of the home page. So we'll move news over and we'll put a new Microsoft form that's embedded here. But first we need to create the form. So I already have forms.office.com open and I'm signed in as myself. So this uh, website certainly is like any other app in Office 365. It's the forms uh, creation space. And uh, right now it's listed as forms preview so you know when you're there. Um, but I'm going to go in and just create a new form. And I'm going to give it a title. And I'm going to uh, add an icon here. I'm going to upload it. You could choose from Bing. You could choose from something that you already have uploaded in the system. But I grabbed this one. We want your help and ideas to start our next travel program city. All right, so then we're going to add a question. And we're going to make this a multiple choice question. Which city do we target next? I'm going to put in a few options here. Option one, Cape Town. Option two, Sao Paulo. I'm going to add another option, Singapore, Stockholm, and Warsaw. Okay, let's make this a required question and then have a freeform text. What other city do you recommend? And then we'll just have this freeform answer, but we're not going to make this one required. All right, so pretty simple form, and I'm going to publish that. And just wanted to call out when you're working with these. Of course, you can use uh, forms.office.com to create a Microsoft form that you can use in the public, so it's anonymous. Um, or you can do it where it's set for just within the organization. And in this example, I'm putting this onto a hub site, so a communication site, essentially throughout my company, but only for my company. Uh, and I want only one response per person. You can see all the other uh, choices. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. And then when we go in to share this, now all I need right now is this URL. So our form is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to go back to our home page, put it into edit mode, and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add a new section here so we can have the news side by side with the survey. Then I'm going to take our news web part that we already had, move it up here, which means I can remove this section. Then I can go in here and add my form. So I'm going to open up the toolbox, find the Microsoft Forms web part, add an existing form, take that URL and paste it in, and hit OK. There's our form that we just created with the two simple questions. I'm going to click Publish. And now to anybody who comes to the Travel Programs hub site, will not only see the news, but of course if we add news it'll show here. They will also see our new published survey based on the form that we just created. So as an end user I can now go in and take the survey. I'm going to go in here and select Warsaw and enter in Bangalore as my other suggestion and submit it. And I get some feedback based on the submission that it was accepted. And there you go. That's as easy it is to build your form and put it into the context of your SharePoint site. You can also add it to a SharePoint news article, any page that you create within the site for a team site, a communication site, or like you see here on the home page of what's coming with hub sites. So you can effectively put your survey anywhere by easily using the Microsoft Forms web part directly into a SharePoint page. Hope you enjoyed this and happy surveying.